Garden Studios. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling alright. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. The topic we're going to talk about today is my reviews on life hack videos. So um if you don't know what a life hack video is, let me explain clearly to y'all that um if you go on Facebook, you can, or you might run up to one of these videos called life hacks or five minute crap videos that you see on a daily basis or a weekly basis telling you how, telling you a certain way on how to vacuum your floors, clean stuff, um, tie, uh, dye your shoes, something like that. Um, I have several pictures on which, um, I'm about to show you on the life hack videos or so-called life hack videos um i'm gonna also tell you ridiculous stories on the life hack videos as well such as people fixing cars you know how they fixing cars all this stuff, how to vacuum all that stuff how to get your shirt out of a car door in case it gets stuck um something like that so um yeah um anyways um I have another video or a famous guy that goes by Kobe Lame or whatever. I got to pronounce his name or I got to look him up. But anyway, um, he is a guy that um, corrects people logically or common sense. Um, every time a life hack video comes up, of course, I know you people are tired of seeing life hack videos of how to do certain stuff. And, you know, I saw a kid one time, uh, uh, his shirt got stuck inside a car door and he tried to pull it up. He can't do it. But instead of opening the door like a logic normal person would be, he had to get a pair of scissors, cut the part of his shirt off right here. You see that? And, you know, it messed up his shirt right here. And this kid smiling like it's okay. It's cool. You know, problem solved. No, it didn't solve the problem. It makes you dumber, right? Um... And then this guy right here, I gotta look him up and see, because you know, he's very famous for doing that kind of stuff. He making, um, so, um, where is he? All right, let me see, um, hmm. Anyway, while this slows up, um, let me continue. Um, so, what about, the, hold on. Sorry, people, um, this, let me search this up right here. So, um, ah, here we go. Yes, I knew I finally find it. Cobby Lame, Cobby Lame. Yeah, this dude right here. Oh, he. Look at him. Look at him. Look, Cobby Lame right here. Cobain Lame. Yeah, that's him right there. That's the guy that I was talking about. Where he's posting these life hack videos and he may he using common sense on how to do certain stuff. Um yeah, he is from Africa. Um he's pretty funny actually. Um and uh he's a very cool dude. Um he is very famous, he gets millions of views, you know, he dress uh decent, you know, he doesn't do these life hack dumb stuff, um, he doesn't mess up his shirt. Um and you know, it's very it's very um and I like this part right here. Look at that. Look, Look at that. That doesn't make <laughs> That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. You break the dish to get the banana and start. What's wrong with you? Damn. Look at that. Man, it's so funny, man. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Banana stuff going off dish, and you had to break it. Doesn't make sense at all. Doesn't make sense. All right. So, um, that's why I'm talking about these life hack videos right here. These dumb videos 
you breaking stuff just to get views. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all, people. Um, I have several screenshots of this as well. Um, let's see, where's the library? Um, and screenshots. What? It didn't download. Sorry, folks. Um, I thought I had it downloaded, but um, I really wanted to show you on these. Uh, to show you what. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, how do I do this? Um, all right. Let me just. I'll just go back to my email and show you, guys, what I'm talking about right here. Um, really. Uh, I see a girl to dye in her shoes with wine. Um, and then I saw another girl replace the heel of her shoes with, um, the, uh, parts of a hammer. So, um, yeah, that's, that's stupid right there. And then I saw a guy repairing a car with bricks and cement, which is, makes the car really heavier and is really hard on gas, you know, during, you know, it eats a, eats a lot of gas by doing that. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, um. Let me go back right here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm going to show you pictures. All right, here's the restoration restore restoration video of what I'm talking about here. Um, this is a restoration video of a used gun or whatever, but you know, I'm sure people, I'm sure they use some kind of coating or whatever, or fried chicken, whatever. To me, um, restoration of this video, of this gun right here, looks like fried chicken to me. They put breading on it, you know, to fry the chicken with whatever. I mean, to me, it looks like fried chicken. It's not a restoration video. It's just supposedly rust um and then this is what i'm talking about right here uh looks so special amazing shoe tricks that will blow your mind oh yeah it really does blow my mind that you're putting hammer replacing the hills like that it makes you look tacky ladies okay come on so seriously and then here here's more of that where that came from really blows people's mind and you see the reaction of laughing you know more than likes or whatever and um this is what i'm talking about here five minute crafts repairing can be easy try these genius tricks no this is not genius what they're showing you is uh re really complicated ways to do everyday life things which can be done in less than five seconds instead of taking minutes to do five minute crafts and making complicated for you and your family, which it can take a much more time than that. Um, and then here's is the red wine that I'm talking about. See these shoes right here, um, are white as I'm showing the picture right now. And then here you go. Um, Oh, this guy is a pro at making the most frustrating videos. And you know, is everybody else a pro at making frustrating videos that piss people off because you know, there are simple ways to do get certain stuff done. There are simple ways to get certain stuff done. And, you know, it's very crazy right here. Five minute crafts, you know. And then here is the trick right here. I'm sure they use dye instead of wine. Um, They supposedly use wine. And, you know, you never know how your shoes are going to come out. Your shoes going to come out sloppy, perfect, whatever. I mean, it's it's high possibility that can mess up your shoes and show... A lot of splotches and spots, even though it's the color red, you know, it can be very discolored if you do that. So, um, just keep that in mind, folks. Um, and here is the same gun that supposedly rusted out, but you know, again, they had to had to use coating. They had to had use some type of material to make it look like rust. So, and here is another one, and you know. It may look like a whole shoe, but it's not. You see, this is this part is real shoes right here. And, you know, and um, the black part is supposed to be laces, but it's drawn with a marker right here um, above the shoes. So, 
Um, don't be fooled by that. So, and here's more. Oh, you see that? That's a marker right there. She drew that herself. You know, it's not the real shoot. That's not part of the shoes. That's the a legit marker that she drew on herself. You know, that's ink poison right there. So, and oh, here's another one. And shoes, um, amazing shoe tricks that will blow your mind. Now, what I'm about to show you, um, it will really blow your mind. Um, you see the padding or the comfortable heel that comforts your heels while you're walking and stuff. Um, the soles inside the shoes. Um, that comforts your hair while you're walking and stuff. Um, it's about to show you amazing tricks on how to comfort your heels. And guess what they use as, um, heels of the shoe to comfort your soles. Guess what they use? Look, they use period pads. They use period pads. They legit use period pads to comfort your soles where women contract their blood on the pad. So, really, that's the most weirdest part that I have ever seen. You know, you're putting period pads inside the shoe to comfort your soles. I mean, I'm not sure that's going to work there, buddy. No. And by the way, the pads are really thin. And, you know, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But I'm pretty sure that it's not going to work because it doesn't have much comfort. It doesn't have much support. You know, it's, uh, it's a pad for women. You know, you're stealing, you're abusing women's product, women's toiletries, girls' toiletries, and put it inside the shoe for your feet. What sense does that make, really? I mean, why do these kinds of videos exist right here? Um, And, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. And this is the process of her ruining her white shoes. I'm not, I'm pretty sure bleach is not going to help. I... Don't know if bleach is not going to help remove or get the color off these shoes. Because right there, they're perfectly good shoes that she ruined right there. Um, And here's more of that um gun that I was talking about. Again, that's fake rust right there. And video restoration projects, how to fix stuff. I mean, that's crazy right there. Um, Yeah, so... That's why I wanted to show you folks, um, right there of what I witnessed right here. Um, yeah, let's look at that again. You see, that's, that's the red wine that she pouring inside this tank. And these shoes are perfectly white. They're, I, to my, um, knowledge or my thoughts on it or my opinion, these shoes look fine the way they are. No color, no splotches, no damage whatsoever so um and look at that and how in the earth, on earth did she get that color perfect i mean if she poured red wine i'm sure that's gonna affect the soles as well so really i think she bought another pair of shoes to make it look like um she really colored the shoes with wine to make it perfect i'm sure she bought the I'm sure she brought those shoes exactly that color from the store instead of showing the final results. I mean, like I said, red wine with the white shoes, you know, it can come out not the way you expect it, especially showing it in different color shades, you know, it can show splotches, you know, it can be really very discolored, you know, of the red wine, so... You might want to put thought into it when you do stuff like this. So, um, yeah. And like I said, I want to tell you a story about a guy that was repairing his car or whatever somewhere around the world. Um, first of all, he didn't use the right material to repair his car, getting the dents out of it. Instead, he used bricks, he used cement, you know, construction-like materials. To fix his car um and then he covered it all up with cement with the bricks and all that stuff sanded it down uh put a new bumper on it paint all over it like it was a finished product or they never expected that you know um they never used bricks or cement in the first place you never know what's inside the car um 
you know, cement and bricks can add so much weight to the car. And, you know, if you put it on either side or in back, you know, whatever side it's on, it's going to tip over, you know, depending on the weight. So people can definitely tell when something's wrong with that car or the next person that buys that car. So just um, take that in consideration if you're going to uh, repair, do body repair on a car and, you know, and you're using bricks and cement. All right, folks, sorry about that. Um, my flash went off because my battery's too low, but um, I'm going to make it really short for you guys because, you know, I have a little bit of life left on the battery, so I got to recharge it right quick. So, uh, all right, heads up, guys, on future newscasts. So, um, I just recently watched a video about Cartoon Network, about being dead, being shut down, but no, it actually celebrated its 30th anniversary, you know, Cartoon Network debut in 1992, and I'm going to talk about the nostalgic on the next episode on when we were kids and all that stuff, the shows we had, the childhood we had, the restrictions, the rules, all that stuff, what kind of foods we have, all that stuff, so I'm going to explain all that in the next newscast, so I hope you guys are prepared for a treat and a blast of the past. So I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are pumped up. So um, I'm going to end this newscast right here. And again, sorry for the interruption and uh, about the car. So um, yeah, like I just said, the guy with the car using bricks and cement can add so much weight to it. And uh, it can really affect the car, the gas mileage, all that stuff, the oil usage. So you might want to consider it. You might want to be careful when you're using bricks and cement. It can add much weight, you know, very denser than the car uh, repair shop product that they're using. So using this for product, just be careful on that. So um, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. And again, tune in for another newscast and I'll see you guys next time. But I'm signing off. So I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.